Hi everyone, my name is Sana Chabra and I have secured All India Rank 84 in UPSC Civil Services Examination. And today I'll be discussing with you the useful sources for current. So these would be the sources that I followed during my preparation. Again, there's no single strategy to, you know, prepare for current affairs or sail through the examination. This is what I did and you can again fine tune it according to your strengths, your weakness or your needs. First of all, the most important source for covering current affairs would be the newspaper. Newspaper has to be read very religiously. I read The Hindu till my mains preparation and The Hindu as well as The Indian Express for the interview preparation. So as far as reading the newspaper is concerned, the newspaper has to be read every single day and those areas specifically which cater to the examination. Now, how would you get to know what are the areas that are to be read or are to be left from the newspaper? The previous year question papers and the syllabus would be a good guide for you to know, to give you a direction, what to read and what to leave. That is one. Second source would be Yojana. This is again a government source. The Yojana is released every month and that issue of Yojana has to be read in total in order to understand various government schemes or certain sector of the government which they pick up and explain or maybe a certain social problem or economic problem or whatever topic it covers. So whatever topic Yojana covers, analyzed from various perspectives, many opinions are given that helps you prepare for current affairs both for prelims as well as for the mains examination. So second source was Yojana. I read Yojana magazine completely. You can also refer to some gist of it, but I would say that always prefer reading Yojana, the uh, issue, other than, you know, rather than going for the gist. Thirdly would be PIB. So PIB is again a government source which covers all the important events of the government throughout the day. So either you can follow PIB every day or monthly using its just whatever you are comfortable with. So third source, which is again a government source, was PIB that I referred. Fourthly, it is important to cover a monthly magazine for current affairs. At least that is what I did. Now it is important to bear the fact in mind that monthly magazine has to be supplemented with the newspaper. It is not to be substituted. By this, I mean that newspaper reading has to be done and alongside you have to cover a current affairs magazine. Because what happens is that when you read a newspaper, a certain news develops over a period of time. So that helps you analyze the news one and secondly, memorize that news without any effort. But if you do that directly from magazine, it might get a little heavy. But reading magazine is important because probably you'll read one newspaper or there are chances that you might miss out on certain sources of the government. But the magazine makes sure that all the important news and the sources which you might have left are covered. So that helps you fill the gaps in the newspaper reading or the sources that you've left. So that is one thing. Next, it is important to solve tests as far as prelims is concerned and also for the mains. As far as prelims is to be dealt with, I think that when you solve many tests, say 30, 40 or maybe 50 before writing the actual prelims, you get to know many questions that probably you didn't cover in your static or current portion and that you can add to your notes and revise it so that, uh, you know, all the deficit or the gap that you had in your current affairs preparation is covered. So this was my simple strategy for covering current affairs. Do not complicate your strategy by adding on to more sources. Just refer to one monthly magazine, be it any, then Yojana, PIB, newspaper reading, which has to be done very religiously and analytically, and then of course value addition through test series. So these were the sources that I referred to. Keep your strategy very simple. Do not complicate things. Refer to as limited sources as you can, but revise it multiple times. Thank you and all the very best. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get latest updates on upcoming videos.